and welcome back to Joking Games! Well, there's just half that right now. But Cricket here. I'm on my own here for this one. I was hoping to get Hobo to be in the background of this, but... Oh well. Just more of me. That sounds facetious. Either way. We're going to be playing, as you can see, Mechanicus. My favorite little red-clad cog boys are off on their grand old adventures. And we shall see what kinds. I especially like this. The intended Mechanicus experience. New. Looking for a challenge. Only the Omnissiah can save you. I love that. But I'm, I'm going to go normal. Because I'm going to be honest. I do not... I, I, I'm I kind of competent? We'll see. We'll see how that rings true. Um, but yeah, I'm going to play Mechanicus. It's a turn-based game. It's been out for a bit. I was going to play it a while ago, but I hadn't fully set up all of my kit with my own stuff. So, just, we're going to see how it is now. Ah, the good old reel that you see in every 40k thing. In the 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleets serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. I'm doing all these hand motions and you guys can't see them. Either way. <clears throat> They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology. Ever searching for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture the Imperial War Machines within gigantic foundries known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs with organ and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skektari troopers. <laughs> mm, mm. Oh, grimdark, grimdark. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are, the, are one of mankind's last defenses against a new dark age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. Uh, now we're going to get to the actual cutscenes, I guess. <laughs> uh, I love this guy's name. I, I, I just want to call him Reddit, even though I know it's pronounced something else. We got Reddit, we got Faust. The Great Divide that torments the galaxy. It is just so over-the-top metal and dark. This is why I love 40k. Well, that and just this aesthetic. Look at this guy! It's like he's got a bunch of wires shoved into his nose. It's great. I wonder if that's actually a collar or if that's just his chin. Like, his mechanical chin. Because it's protruding out. And it's in the hood, rather than, like, being under this chest piece. Uh, 
And actually, come to think of it, where does... Oh, wait, yeah, I should wait until I see him again. Four months later, they finally get back to their IT crew. I'm not gonna speak the the lines of these guys because they've got their own like weird machine speak. I forget what the mechanic is call it, but it, it's basically dial up noises, and it's just high speed communication. I don't want to imagine imagine it as like. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, not going to worry about that right now. But yeah, we're going to explore this planet because this other Majos went to this world and found Xeno structures. And considering how I saw Necrons clearly described in the difficulty setting and how you see them in the trailers and how they were shown in the initial releases and stuff, it, we're going to be dealing with them, at least just them. Though I would not be shocked if we encountered some more questionable and eldritch things as we delve deeper still into this planet. Or any sort of other places. I don't even know if it's just this world. I know very little about this game. Okay, can't call support from the Forge Worlds. We can only use what we have. We have to be very careful with our equipment. I love Scavola. The way he talks in... Benefit analysis. Peaceful sector. Knowledge for mankind. Plus, plus, plus potential. Plus, plus, plus opportunity. But I love this guy, too. Look at his stupid skull. Yeah, the servo skull. This poor sap is like, when I die, I'm going to be used as a servo skull for the Mechanicum, and it's such an honor. And all he is is a floating candle holder. Can't even have a flashlight built onto this thing. You already have two flashlights built onto this thing. Why do you need a candle? You're on a spaceship, people. I love this absurdness. I hate it, but I love it because it's 40k. Uh, but I agree with this guy more. I'd rather not dissect aliens if we can just pull the parts after we've murdered them and figure out stuff. Instead of running the risk of their stuff turning on us, I don't want to get a Necron like computer virus or anything. Do they have computer viruses that they use? Hmm. Oh, well. Magi, we are approaching the target location. The target coordinates. Alright. Oh, there's an oil leak in aisle 0001. Data loop showing loss. Provide more data. Kind of challenge gone rogue. It's just so much information at once. I love it. It looks like it's supposed to be crashing, but no, that's just what it does when you get out of the... when, you know, you go through hyperspace hell. The warp. The realm of souls. Whatever you want to call it. But I should shut up, because this is an amazing shot. Look at those communication towers. Those guns! Those thrusters! Mmm, so pretty. I love it. I talk too much. Or maybe not enough. I don't know. Either way, here's a new person. I want to say that it's a girl more because of her brow line and name than the fact that they had to model two metal boobs on her chest plate. But I'm going to just go with it. 
Besides, Kepra sounds very feminine. Slightly Egyptian, too. Which I can... Eh. Oh, well. And over here we can see the priestly fellow in his white robe. And I assume that this is Goggle Boy. And this is our main leader. Uh, she's... She's not here. Which is unfortunate. I was hoping to see her here somewhere. Maybe she'll end up poking her head through the door or something at one point. But either way, just look at this. Uh, is that a person? Is that a person over there? Oh well. Got some servo skulls. I'm just going to continue. Skatari troops. Atmosphere is breathable. I love how many breathable atmospheres there are. Despite how many of these worlds being burnt out hell holes. You'd think that they'd need, like, possible breathable atmospheres. Like, they would just need to give guardsmen gas masks and stuff all the time. But no, they just throw them out onto this desert world that probably doesn't have any oxygen. At least for these guys have got built-in respirators. Ready to make landfall. Send some stable orbit, Magos. Wait a sec. Never mind, never mind. I thought that that had a alchemical conventional symbol, but this is just... Maybe it is? No. Eh, whatever. For the surface to the runes, under my direct command. I shall monitor them from my command throne on board. I have to wonder, is he just perfectly wired into this? Because it looks like he's sitting here, but I don't know if this is a literal throne that he's sitting on, or if he's just sort of stood up and attached to a whole rigging assembly, or if it's some combination of both. It's probably some combination of both. I really hope that's not showing. Otherwise, they get a silent shot out because they popped up on a little window on my screen. Um, let's see, Tomb Reeks. Well, there's no speaking part here, so I can say it out loud. Why not? This tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with the debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Here. And there, fissures in the structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. No less intimidating now, but instead of evoking a merciless, guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs, and something long dead begins to take on a facsimile of life itself, an agroleth sector. God, this is way too serious. I love it. Going by it's a tomb structure. <laughs> Let the secrets of this world equal zero. I love you. Seriously, dude. You're great. You're magnificent. Mm-hmm. Yep, Videx knows what's up. Don't want to mess with this. Most technologically advanced race in the in the entire galaxy. No. Don't don't fuck with their toys. I'm pretty sure that they got something a little more a little more dangerous than McAfee on that thing. Structure's too deeply buried. Can't kill it from orbit. No intention of plundering whatever trickets I find. 
from this place. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna like try and steal a necrodermis arm or something. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna try and become a second Ferris because we all know what happened to him. Hmm. And most people thought that he had his head screwed on right. Anyways, let's get back to this. Skull should be my eyes and ears on the ground. They just breed, they explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. Within this tutorial, you have to explore the interface to discover what to do. Like a true tech priest, you must experiment in order to learn. I will help you out this one time. Left mouse button, click on the adjacent room to move. Okay. Alright everybody, get on moving. We got two tech priests and a bunch of servitors. Yep, Xenos hieroglyphs, I know of them. They are my undoers. Necrons! Mysterious, ill-researched, corruptive. God. Okay. Look at how wide-eyed he is. He is just like, Ooh, I want to mess with these. I, I want... Oh, God damn it. Come on. Up. Up. Fuck. It's work of an alien, Jose. Stop fucking with things. Okay. Scrutinize, examine the inscriptions, secure, scourge. I'm with the priest. We're breaking it. I'm not even giving it a second thought. I want to break this thing. I don't care. Noctolith source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediately. In the 40k universe, Blackstone is a Necron made or discovered, not entirely sure off the top of my head, um, material which allows you to repel psychic energy. Um, there were a bunch of them set up around Cadia, which was helping to keep the Eye of Terror from tearing into a terror that stretched across the entire Milky Way galaxy. So, it's kind of important. And now we've got some. So now we've collected this exotic matter. Okay. How do I move? Okay, good. I just moved this stupid scrying pool. Okay. So now we go from here to in here. And we fight this. We're at the 20 minute mark. But I also don't want to just end on this cliffhanger. So let's go murder some things. Let's get them. Oh, hi there. How are you all doing? Yep, count them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says that they are as deadly as they are inhumane. Or inhuman. Probably both. Definitely both, because this is the Necrons we're talking about. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. Caution. Exercise extreme caution. Do not charge in too heedlessly, lest the trickery of the alien be our downfall. They're going to be acting 
very tactfully as well, aren't they? Because we're talking about a bunch of soulless machines. So, giving them time to study us is not going to be helpful. Following established combat engagement protocols shall be done by the book. Makes sense on paper. But no. Because we're talking about very smart, soulless murder machines. If they've already dealt with Mechanicus, they've already dealt with Skatari and Conservators and Tech Priests and Amajos. They're not going to be bothered. They're going to know how we fight. So what's going to surprise them more? Then a couple of robed loonies charging in with their cl clampy claws and plasma guns going at full blaze. We fight! Oh, and the Necron right there. That's a... I like that. Instead of a stupid jump scare, you get to see that thing just sort of fade into existence temporarily and be all spooky-like. And the stupid Mike is getting bumped into. Sorry. But Xenos form detected. And let's take a look at this guy. Look at this. I wish I could turn the screen around so I could get a better look at this guy all around. I wonder why he has shoulder pads. And I love how these are written. No weak spots? I beg to differ. Look at this huge collar opening. You get a plasma bolt in there and you can melt its insides. You got that right there. It probably, like, this would just break the machinery of the body, which is really what you need to do with something like these necrodermis constructs. You could just go right in there and he, he wouldn't be able to do much. It's also pretty thin and spindly. So you could break limbs if you got him close enough, which we really can't do, but whatever. <laughs> this, this guy, he is going to get us killed. He is going to, like, I want to know more, and he's going to get turned into some kind of Necron Servitor meh meat puppet thing. I just know it. Um. Oh! Okay, yeah. This this is clearly a female chess piece. God. Ah. You look like... You look like a... Hmm. Is that... Is that flesh wrapped over the front there? Or is that part of this? It, it, I can't even make heads or tails of where the face ends and the mask begins. I guess that's Mechanicus for you. Either way, her brothers and sisters lost their lives trying to solve mysteries of these. Approach with caution. Double check you agitators. Widely known that they will self repair plus reanimate or reconstruct themselves if left time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill Skatari are equivalent to C-class grazed to Necrons, i.e. hard to kill because undead robots made of nanomachines, son. So, it's time to murder them! Let's kill all the robo-zombies. Oh. So let's see. Place a unit. You... Okay, I'm going to have you stay right here, and then I'm going to pick you and put you up against this wall, and then start battle. These look important. Oh no! Ah! Butt monkey. Okay. 
And now the tech priest. <laughs> <laughs> I think that my own servo skull is trying to get my attention. I... This has been a shit show. Remind me to throw you into the holy furnace. At this point, I don't even care. Let's just do this. You... Go here. Cognition points, representing valuable information. Validate, validate. And... Servo skull, every priest has a servo skull. Validate, validate. He's got six health points and one energy shield from the looks of it. So, you are going to just go right here and say, and uh, give him a nice hello. Ah, no, I want to go here, except. And I want you to hack him square in the face. And then he's done his job. And firstly, have a look at you. And then come right here. right in the chest. Yes! Both Necrons are nearly out of commission. Can't really do much else. So, I'm just gonna end turn here and see how they do. He can get more, which is useful. And then I can summon somebody to help out. You'll be fine. So, you are just going to be right in his face. Done. <laughs> I got myself a nice servitor. And I really hope that he is fully, like, not a problem. There, just smacked him square in the face and he completely absorbs it. Okay. And now, when they try to move out to try and get into better range for a melee, for a ranged attack, he will get shot in the face. Oh, gonna get smacked in the face. And... There. No threat remaining. We did it. We beat the first group of mooks that we needed to fe fight. Words. Cohort's HP amount carries over from each fight. Keep this in mind when exploring a tomb and look out for opportunities to repair. Obviously. So, now that we've done that, I think it's time to make our way into the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Very, very rushed. But at this point, I can see that it's already past 30 minutes on my thing. I don't want to run the risk of going any further. So, I'll see you guys next time on whatever this will end up being called. Probably joking games. Bye.